guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related. I got you covered. In today's video, let's talk about concealer. Are we going to talk about concealer and how to prevent it from creasing? What kind of concealer you want to use? If you have fine lines. So there are a couple of things I do want to mention before, you know, makeup and everything. Number 1, you have to have to have you have you have to have a clean face. Um, you know, I'm guilty of it sometimes too. I forget to wash my face. I'm going about throughout the day and then I'm like, oh, let me go somewhere and I put concealer on and I'm like, my concealer does not look good at all right now because it's either laying uneven, it gets patchy, it just doesn't sit right. You have to wash your face and you have to make sure you're very gentle around the eye area, which brings me to point number two. You wanna use a little moisturizer under your eyes just to kind of prep that area. Sometimes we're dry, sometimes, you know, we just wanna create a nice, like, perfect base for concealer. Use any of your favorite eye creams. If you don't have an eye cream, but you have a good facial moisturizer, you can take a little bit and just, like, dot it underneath your eyes. Today, I prepped my under eye with the Caudalie Premier Crew. I did this because it has, like, a metal tip to it and it gets nice and cold and my eyes are just a little bit puffy today so I just wanted to have the experience basically. So once that's kind of done you can let it sit for a good I don't know maybe like two to five minutes do your eyebrows comb your hair drink some coffee whatever you want to do. After that I want to talk about two things so we're gonna talk about correctors and then we're gonna talk about concealers. Not everybody needs a corrector. If you have very dark circles you're gonna to wanna to use a corrector because it's gonna cancel out any darkness underneath the eyes and then when you throw concealer on top, it'll just work and they, it'll be nice and bright under the eyes. If you don't need corrector, you can totally skip that part and go straight into concealer. My recommendations when it comes to these products, I really, really, really stress that I personally favor liquid correctors and concealers. You don't want anything that's too thick. You don't want anything that has like, it dries down too matte because then it's gonna look very heavy and just very tired under the eyes. So I'm gonna go over um, a brightener and I'm gonna go into concealer. One of the ones that I really like is from Rare Beauty. I have these two shades here. I bought two because I wasn't sure what color was gonna work for me. One is light medium and one is medium. These are the concealer do have like a little metal tip and it's nice and cooling. So now these do not give you a lot of coverage. It's just enough to help cut any darkness underneath the eyes, but it's nice and thin and it's got like a serum feeling um, consistency. So it's gonna feel nice. And this is the only product I use that I will dot underneath my eyes because it has that little metal tip and it feels so good. And Always with the ring finger, by the way, has the least amount of pressure. So with these products, um, you just want to tap it in, tap, 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 and that's going to help start brightening up your under eye area. This is great if you're somebody who, like, you just want to stop at there. Again, because it's liquid, it's not really going to set in the lines. Next is concealers. Two that are my absolute favorite concealers at the moment. So you got the Rose Ink. This one is... Pretty full coverage too. This one a little bit goes a long way. Doe foot applicator. I do find that it pulls out a lot of product. You don't need this much. Beauty, the Skin Mimetic Concealer is like my jam. I will put this underneath my eyes. This really cool looking doe foot applicator. If you want like an alternative, maybe more affordable, you could try the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. That's not a bad one either, and they have pretty decent shade ranges. I'm gonna go in with my Skin Mimetic on this side. So I take it, and like I mentioned before, I never put anything on directly to the skin. I always put it on the back of my hand. The amount of product that you put when you're applying it underneath your eyes matters. I hate to go like this. It just puts on way too much product. It settles in my lines. I feel like it just ages me and I don't like that. This is shade 4W, by the way, in case you're curious. And if you notice, it leans just a tad bit peachy, which is gonna work for me because while I don't have very dark under eye circles, they are a little bit dark. So I'm gonna take and I'm just gonna pat under my eyes. Now, it's really important that when you're doing this, you're not taking it completely directly underneath the eye. Take it like just where you have darkness, basically. And because I'm applying it to that part of the eye, 
I'm going to take a brush and if I just kind of run the brush back and forth, very light touch, and I bring it up to that lash line, like where my lashes actually are, it just blends it out really nice. And let's see, I don't want to see concealer on. I don't want people to be like, oh, your concealer looks great. No, I want like, oh, your skin looks great, right? I think that's like the ultimate compliment. Now I'm gonna do the rose ink on this side. This is a very, very pigmented concealer, which is insane because it's like a clean beauty brand. But man, a little bit goes a long way. And I am shade LX01. You can see this one is not as peachy, but it's very pigmented. So I'm gonna take and I'm going to just dot. And the reason I like to use my fingers is because it's going to melt the product onto your skin. Like skin to skin contact, always melt it right in. It's just easier to work with. And you just like bounce your finger under your eye. Obviously be gentle with it. And look, like you instantly, you know that this has more coverage than this one. And then follow up with the brush. And you just want to run it back and forth very gently. And that's it. The other thing I do want to mention is when you are doing concealer, right? You don't want to just stop underneath the eyes, right? What we want to do is we want to take it and to kind of take it down to your cheek because we don't want to see where the concealer ends or where it begins. We just want it to kind of blend into the rest of the face. So by me taking it down, I don't have that like reverse raccoon eyes. So now I just have concealer on. Now that I brought it down to like this part of my face, it just blends with the rest of my face. Now, you do have to put foundation on or, you know, do the rest of your makeup so that it all really does make sense. But we're just focusing on concealer at the moment. No, like, emphasis on lines or anything like that, at least from what I could see as well. The rest of my face needs color. So to quickly recap, one, make sure you wash your face. Two, moisturize under your eyes, but leave some time for it to just like really set in and be one with your skin. Uh, three, if you're gonna use a corrector on the back of your hand, warm it up, apply it. Remember that when you're applying in layers, you can do short layers, or on the short layers, you can do light layers and still have like a nice impact. Like you're basically just like pressing into the skin, pressing into this, pressing. And then concealer, same thing. Take it from the back of your hand, apply. You can use a sponge if you want to, if you're more comfortable with that. You could use a brush if you want to. You saw I use my finger and my brush. That's just what works for me. And honestly, like, your fingers are always on you. So I've been in a pinch where I do my makeup in the car and I'm like, ah, oh, well, like finger painting. Now, uh, I know somebody's gonna ask, what do you set, what do you set? I personally don't set underneath my eyes. I'm dry, so I try not to. But if you're gonna set with a fluffy brush, you pick up a little bit of powder, dust it off, and you're just gonna lightly apply the way I'm doing, even though I'm not doing, I'm not really doing, I'm just pretending that I'm setting. That's how you do it. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I can't wait to hear from you guys, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.